your tan on boots, with your low cut tank tops and your two plus cup size push up bra, is really helping you to look older. I see what you were doing, trying to impress those upperclassmen boys, thinking that piling on the makeup will help you to get your first kiss, be asked to prom, date a boy that has a car, go to crazy parties, or let you tell all your friends that your relationship is illegal. LOL, like whatever, YOLO. <laughs> And you know what? Everything that you were doing is totally working. Your style choices make the boys stare. But trust me, they're staring because you're hot. Because you look older than 14 years old in that belly shirt. Oh. That boy is definitely going to add you on Facebook when he gets home. Therefore, it would be a good idea to add pics of yourself at a party, because all the cool kids get drunk, right? And don't forget about that cute one of you in a bathing suit, because your body is so developed at this point. <laughs> Hashtag cute boy, hashtag oh my god I look like crap though, hashtag I'm officially in love. Oh, and don't worry about me having them get to class on time, you just keep walking through the hallway at the slowest pace that is humanly possible. <laughs> and then stopping right in the middle of the hallway to talk to your friend. So freshman girls, please keep doing what you were doing to remind upperclassmen boys what real girls look like and talk like and act like. Because you, you know exactly what you were doing. Woo! to name a baby girl like a flower, saying it will only make her have to work that much harder for respect. But I will tell him, where would any of us be if life were easy? When she is old enough to hear it, I will tell her my story. Maybe she can learn from a few old photographs and a tape of a school play. I will tell her, I never meant to be seen as some sort of hero. I was as much of a hero as the pizza guy, only good for quick fixes and short moments of glory. I have about the conviction of a fruit fly, but the persistence of an ocean. I continue to return to shore no matter how many times I am sent away. I will tell her, when you're trying to come home and you've spent your last $12 on a bus ticket and a pack of cigarettes, I will come pick you up with a smile and a cup of coffee. And if that doesn't appeal, maybe just a coloring book and a juice box. For every time she gets her heart broken, I will have a stash of chocolate that will try to fix it. Because let's be honest, there are very few heartbreaks that chocolate can't fix. It will never be about who said what when. It is always, where did you feel it? What color was it? What did it taste like? When have you ever felt like this before? Though my daughter's name will be fragile, she will not be. She will emulate all the great women of history, Susan B. Anthony, Eleanor Roosevelt, Jackie Kennedy, and Tina Fey. These women will show her that you can be great, and all you have to do is believe in yourself and ignore the rest. She will call me every year on my birthday, say, Happy Womb Escaping Anniversary. And every year I will reply with, Thank God I escaped that thing, because if I hadn't, you'd have never been born. <laughs> she will laugh. We'll talk. And much too soon, it will be over. My daughter will be the one taking care of me when I am old and have lost everything I thought meant anything to me, she will hold me. Tell me, I was never meant for that life. She will say, Mother, everything you ever needed was right here and will never leave you. She will sing to me as gently as her name implies. We shall not be, we shall not be moved. We shall not be, we shall not be moved like a tree planted by the water. We shall not be
be inappropriate. <laughs> like when I try to tell my mom that I'm just banging with friends, she goes all ape shift on me that I'm too young for sex. She even threatened to take away my phone over a little thong like that. <laughs> I hope she understands one of these days. I really hope she dies. Because <laughs> if she doesn't, I'll have no friends left. I mean, how am I supposed to communist with the outside world without a phone? She says I should spend more time doing homework and practicing for band instead of being addicted to sexting. So I'll just be stuck, alone in my room, playing my stupid French porn that she forced upon me. <laughs> I don't even like being in band, and band kids are naturally Greeky anyway. Does she want me to be forever alone? She even made me go to some weirdo jazz concert to hear this famous sadist play. <laughs> even my boyfriend makes fun of me for being a band freak. If he makes one more joke about me being in band, I swear I'm gonna lick his butt. <laughs> Growing, 
Looking for a cure, a fix? A fix. I'll fly. Get high. Take off. Goodbye. Farewell, world. I'll see you, girls. Let's see if you miss me. I wonder if your eyes will get misty. Will you come with me? Just leave. We'll flee. Moses can part the Red Sea. I'll do anything just to be us three. Father, sister, sister. Excuse me? Mister? My daughter's crying. I'm out here dying. Have you got time to spare a dime? Keep me away from a life of crime? Please, don't leave. Don't run away. Help me. Because I want my daughters to want to stay. I want to make them happy. I promise to be their daddy. Empty promises, empty envelopes. Won't deliver. Choke on tears, fears, smoke. 